So, self-awareness. Something we hear a lot, like I say in most videos. Something that's very big in the, you know, spiritual fields and more esoteric fields. Maybe even self-help, whatever you want to call it. But self-awareness, what is it? So, yeah, there'll be a ton of definitions. Some will call it this, some will call it that. But what it comes down to for me is being aware of what you do. You know, and that sounds sort of like a simple concept, right? A simple idea. But if you think about it nowadays, how many people are actually aware of what they're doing? The actions they're taking, the movements they're making, especially their mental activity. You know, how many people are actually aware of that? So self-awareness is being able to say, well, I got mad and I know that I got mad. I got triggered and I know why I got triggered. This happened, that happened, but I know why. So it's not perfection. It's not being some Buddha type that's never going to make a mistake. And it's funny because if you actually read about the Buddha, he did make mistakes. You know, there's that story about him coming in and seeing his father after he became enlightened and all this. And they were both throwing a fit. You know, this is being human. This is part of it. So it's not perfection, but self-aware is knowing what you're doing at the very minimum and then at a little bit of a higher level knowing why you're doing something. So you look at something like enlightenment and it's made into this huge, you know, fancy, emotional, you know, godlike state when in reality all it is is being aware of what you're doing. That's it. Because in truth... If you're aware of what you're doing or why you're doing something, it creates a choice. If you say, okay, I get triggered when someone mentions a certain political thing, then you know going into it, you know, what the reality is. So none of this is magic. It's being aware of what you're doing in order to create some sort of choice or to be able to make a choice of what you have in front of you. You know, we make things very complicated, but at the end of the day, we're trying to be aware of the actions we are taking. We're trying to be aware of the thoughts. We're trying to be aware of the moods. We're not even always trying to change them. We're just trying to be aware of them. Because in reality, once you can become aware of them, you're no longer controlled by them. So as I always say, contemplate it, figure it out for yourself. Don't even listen to me. Just do it yourself, experience it, and see how it goes. But try to be more self-aware in the actions you take.